Hi viewers, welcome to and welcome back to Lama Solution. Today we are going to see about Fuzzy MBPT for wind energy conversion system. So this is a simulation model developed for Fuzzy MBPT for wind energy conversion system. So this system consists of wind turbine, permanent magnet and signal generator and then rectifier and then boost converter and it have load and this boost converter going to be controlled by means of fuzzy MBPT so here we are having the rating of wind generator is uh, 3 kilowatts and then uh, base wind speed is 12 meter per second and it going to be connected to the permanent magnet synchronous generator so the output of wind turbine going to be converted to uh, that mean output actually actual output of wind turbine normally a uh, torque torque in per unit so that going to be converted into actual a uh, torque and then it's going to be given here for a permanent magnet synchronous generator and also the output of uh, signal generator right that mean the speed of signal generator will be feedback to the uh, wind turbine model in the form of uh, per unit right so that generator speed need to convert to per unit okay and then generator uh, that mean wind turbine uh, receiving uh, another two inputs on is pitch angle and then wind speed okay so here we are having uh, wind speed right initially the wind speed is uh, 12 meter per second after two second it's going to be changed to 10.8 meter per second okay we have to check the response of the system by changing wind speed condition and then the output right output of uh, permanent magnet signal generator going to be converted into DC by means of this uh, rectifier okay and then here we have boost converter so boost converter going to be uh, used for uh, boost the voltage of uh, rectifier to the uh, requirement of uh, load side okay so here uh, we are going to uh, maintain the DC load voltage is around 400 volt and then uh, input side we are going to maintain voltage around 200 to 300 volt okay and then uh, already we have the rating of wind turbine is around 3 kilowatts right so based upon this rating you have to design the value of L and C and this boost converter right so boost converter going to be controlled by means of fuzzy mbpt and the fuzzy mbpt going to be extract the maximum power from the wind turbine so whatever the wind speed condition so according with the wind speed condition so we need to extract the maximum power from the uh, wind turbine based upon fuzzy mbpt so here you can see that this is the characteristics of uh, wind turbine okay so so here here you can see that the x axis will be uh, generated speed in per unit the y axis will be uh, the speed of the sorry the power of the uh, wind turbine okay so here you can for 12 meter per second we are getting al almost one per unit power from the wind turbine so when uh, the speed will be decreased right so what will be happen the power generation from the wind turbine also going to be reduced right so this is a peak point for a different uh, wind speed condition so this power should be extracted from that uh, wind turbine because uh, when you are to operate this point right so we will get the maximum power from the wind turbine if suppose we are, we are going to operate the wind turbine in this point or this point right so what will be happen the power will be not a maximum so power will be reduced right so we need to make use of the wind turbine maximum power so by means of bus fussy mbpt algorithm okay so for that here we are going to measure two parameter so one parameter is rectifier voltage so another parameter is rectifier current okay so this is going to be input for a for CMBPT okay so next you go to see the uh, for CMBPT detail so here you have to uh, uh, here you can see that uh, there are two inputs right one is current and the voltage of the rectifier 
so here you have to calculate uh, uh, p of n minus p of n minus 1 nothing but the del okay del p and then here you have to calculate uh, v of n minus v of n minus 1 so this is known as uh, del v okay so the del p and del v will be calculated by means of uh, by delaying the voltage and current by samples so once you delay the sample so you will get i, I of n minus 1 v of n minus 1 and then you have to use summing block for calculating that uh, uh, del p and del v and then here we, we, are, we are going to divide the del p uh, divided by del v so this is going to be considered as a slope okay slope of that uh, uh, that signal uh, v and i otherwise we called uh, the slope of the characteristics of wind turbine okay so here uh, ek going to be considered as a del p divided by del v and e of k minus 1 will be considered as a by uh, delaying the sample by 1 and then you have to take a uh, difference between e of k and uh, uh, previous sample so that is known as e of k minus 1 so you have to delay this uh, by single sample and then you have to take uh, uh, subtraction between and the current in previous sample so we will get it e of k minus 1 so these two inputs right e of k and the e of k minus 1 going to be input for this so for cmppt alpha cmppt will be generated the duty cycle okay so based upon this condition uh, slope condition right uh, that means uh, change in slope under a change in rate of, uh, rate of change in slope condition so it going to be generated the duty cycle so for that we already um, played that uh, uh, mppt rules for in fuzzy so for that i am going to type fuzzy here and then i am going to load the fuzzy rules so this is a fuzzy rules we created that means this is input composite function this is a uh, that means uh, a del p to w del v this is uh, e, e, e of k minus 1 that means uh, delete the sample and then you have to take subtraction right so the detail and then this is a duty cycle composite function so both are going to be related by means of uh, fussy rules okay so these are the fussy rules totally 14 in rules is created here okay so next you can see the rule and graphical structure right so this is a rule and graphical structure now you can see that when error equal to zero uh, change in error or rate of change of error equal to zero that means duty cycle maintained in point, uh, point 0.368 when it going to be changed right the duty cycle also going to be changed okay so based upon this uh, uh, inputs right that means uh, slope and the rate of change of slope okay so we will get the uh, optimal duty cycle not extract the maximum power from the wind turbine okay so the duty cycle will be processed via PWM generator the PWM generator will be generate the pulse so this PWM generator uh, generate the pulse and it is going to control this MOSFET in order to extract the maximum power from the wind turbine okay so this is the working of this model next we have to see the result of this model so for that I am, I am going to simulate this model and then here you can see the result of and different uh, parameters so this is a, a generator voltage so voltage uh, amplitude is around 250 volt and then this is generated current amplitude is around uh, and now it's around 12 or 13 amps and here you can see this this is a voltage maintained at 250 volt so this is a boost converter voltage maintained at 400 volt okay and then here you can see the rectifier current is around 13 amps and the boost converter current around uh, 7 amps okay and here you can see that for uh, 12 meter per second from 0 to 2 second uh, the wind speed is uh, 12 meter per second so far that we are getting around uh, uh, 3000 watts right so that means uh, uh, we are extracting the maximum power from the wind turbine okay and also you can see that uh, we are getting uh, nearer to that uh, uh, 3000 in the uh, load side okay but it have some losses okay because uh, obviously the boost converter having some losses okay so 
after some losses you are getting some almost around 3000 okay and here you can see that after 2 second right wind speed change from uh, 12 meter per second to uh, 10.8 okay because of that you can see that the amplitude of generated voltage and current right is decreased right because of that uh, uh, the that rectifier voltage is reduced and the boost converter voltage reduced as well as uh, rectifier current is uh, reduced to 10 amps and then boost converter load side current going to be changed to around 6 amps and then here you can see that we are getting around power around 2200 watts okay so by changing radiation condition the fuzzy mppd is extracting the maximum power from the vendor main okay so this is the working of this model thanks for watching your videos kindly subscribe the channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye